Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is Rashad from RashadBeats.com. Just want to welcome you back to another vlog. Today, we are going to talk about how to maintain a healthy attitude throughout your daily basis, um, throughout your daily routines. You're doing your to-do list, and you want enough energy to complete everything on that on that task, uh, on that sheet. You want to do enough to make sure that you complete everything. So in order to do that, you must have a healthy attitude. You know what I'm saying? Because once your attitude is healthy, everything goes so smoothly. You know what I'm saying? And I want to I wanna elaborate and emphasize this a lot more in this video. So let's get right into it. So when you're maintaining a healthy attitude, um, I think really when it's just it's just you're a lot more you're a lot more enthusiastic. You're a lot more um, I would say you're a lot more motivated to do anything. You feel you feel a lot better when you're uh, when you're when your attitude is in the right spot. You feel like you can do anything to that uh, on that specific day. You can complete any goal on that specific day, and you can uh, just get things done. You can get things done, and and it feels a lot better to do it with a great attitude because it just makes it seem like you're getting real progress done. So that's one of the biggest things with that. A good way to maintain that attitude is to start in the morning. Um, what I do is I usually wake up and I set alarms on my phone. I set alarms on my phone. Well, you don't see it. This is my phone. But I set alarms on my phone that tell me affirmations that I, that that set themselves up um, on a specific time in the morning, like 10 o'clock and 11, 11 uh, in the morning and stuff. I, I set it to those because um, what it does is it sends uh, an affirmation on my phone saying, today I will win. Today I will win. So whenever it, it goes to 10, 10 o'clock, it'll, it'll set a reminder to my phone telling me today I will win. And um, the reason why this is important because when you look at your phone, that's the first thing you grab in the morning. You grab it, you see that affirmation, today I will win. You feel a little woozy, you're tired, you're like, la, 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 I don't want to get up. <laughs> you know, you're tired and you know you know how that is when you wake up. You just, ugh. you know, you're just like, oh man, you know, you don't want to get up. But when you look at the phone and you see the affirmation that you set for yourself, subconsciously, it soaks it in. So even, even when you don't enjoy it consciously, you're like, you know the same old same old subconsciously it is in the back of your brain so it's going to transmute in reality of today you know what i'm saying so it's going to come out to reality and you're going to feel a lot more enthusiastic about everything you know what i'm saying so that's a good tactic i usually set alarms on my phone so i make sure that i get good affirmations like you're a badass you know at 11 o'clock or be the best you can be today at 12 o'clock and etc cetera, etc cetera. you know what i'm saying like just set alarms on your phone and have them trigger to whenever your regular schedule is when you wake up. I think that's a good tactic because I do this all the time. So whenever, whenever that happens, I just be like, all right, I feel good. Let's start the day. You know what I'm saying? So that's a good one. Um, but yeah, another good way to maintain a healthy attitude, eat a good breakfast. Make sure you get like some, you know, if just make sure you like you eat some good food. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't start the day off eating chicken. And I wouldn't start the day off eating chicken pieces and everything else like that because when it sits in your core, that food is gonna is, is sitting in your stomach, and you know it's just you know not necessarily the healthiest choice in the morning. So your your reaction to everything throughout that day after you're done eating is because of the food that's sitting in your stomach. Like if I ate a whole bunch of pork, you know it's not gonna sit right in my stomach. You know what I'm saying? It's not the healthiest choice in the morning. So I'm gonna be a lot more agitated. I'm gonna be a lot more quickly to yell at somebody. I'm gonna be a lot more quickly to get mad and lose. A healthy attitude simply because um, you know what I ate in the morning you know what I'm saying it can it, it just resets itself like it's not good to have that food in your core early in the morning and stuff you know what I'm saying so you know make sure you eat healthy foods you know what I'm saying you, you know you know the healthy food apples man oranges whatever anything anything that's just healthy and healthy that that you know is gonna sit well in your core and also um, to maintain that healthy attitude I think the best thing to do is to always write a to-do list, write down what you need to finish, write down what you need to start, write down what you gotta what you gotta uh, complete for the week, write down what you gotta complete for the month. Write down all your goals and look at them every day until they are completed. I do that all the time. I write down my monthly goals and then I look at it. I'm like, you know what? Okay, I check this off. I check that off. Okay, that's looking good. Check that off. You know what I'm saying? You know, I look at it every day and I'm like, okay, let's go through. Let's see how well I do on these. You know what I'm saying? The more that you look at them the more that you'll be able to actually complete them because you're actually looking at them every morning, every day. And, you know, it makes it a lot easier for it to come towards you instead of you working so hard to come towards it. You know what I'm saying? It makes it a little bit easier. It makes the, the road a lot more easier for yourself. 
Yeah, that's pretty much the, my tactics on how to maintain a healthy attitude. I think also a good way to uh, maintain a healthy attitude. Reading. Reading is a really good way to start your day. Um, sometimes I wake up in the morning and I read like at least 20 minutes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, whatever book I have. Um, when you're reading, you're still. So, you know, when you're practicing stillness, as I talked about in my past vlogs, I can't remember when, can't remember which one it was, but um, when you're still, you're one with yourself and you're at a core when, when, in which you are within yourself and you are you're in a zone where you're in a process of just becoming one with yourself. So like when you're one, when you're at one with yourself, you know who you are, you're understanding who you are as a person a lot more when you're still. So, you know, reading is just another way of stillness. You're sitting down and not only are you, you're not only are you learning, you're feeling a lot more, you're feeling good about yourself because you're just doing something. It's, it's something to keep you active. It's something to keep you active in the morning because when you're tired, your brain is just like, you know, uh, you know what I'm saying? Easily influenced by things. So when you're, when you wake up in the morning and the first thing you do is read, maybe read for 20 minutes, 15 minutes, you feel a lot more better throughout your day because you feel like you're in an active state. I forgot what it was. I don't think it's the dopamine in your brain, but I can't exactly remember. But it's like a certain chemical in your brain that, that releases and it makes your day a lot better. It makes your day a lot better. And I'm sorry I don't have the statistics. I apologize, but um, it's really, it's really interesting. But to maintain a healthy attitude, that's what I would say to, to do. You know, but um, aside from maintaining it, let's talk about why you should maintain it. Um, the reason why you should maintain a healthy attitude is because whenever you have a bad attitude, you're quick to spaz out, you're quick to get angry, you're quick to, to lash out on people. Not only does that affect your progress throughout your day, but you get exhausted more and more. You start losing IQ points. The more reactions that you bring out towards other things, towards the different distractions, as I talked about in my audiobook, you know, you start losing, you start, you start losing yourself. Honestly, you start losing yourself to the, to the distractions of the world. And what I mean by this is, you, you get frustrated a lot more when this happens because you're, you have no direction for the day. So uh, anything that can affect you. It's gonna hurt you a lot more than you think it will. So you know, it's it's like that's the bad attitude. When you have a good attitude, nothing really phases you. Anything that's distracting you, you're easily you can easily dispatch it. Easily, you take it, take it apart, break it apart. Okay, all right, that's out of the way. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and continue what I was doing. You feel a lot better about yourself. You feel enthusiastic. You feel you feel happy. You feel you feel good. You feel good. You feel like you can do anything on this world when you have a, when you maintain a good attitude. That's when things start to significantly change for yourself. Um, you start to feel a lot better about yourself as who you are. You start to feel a lot better about the things that you're doing. And you start to feel a lot better about the goals that you set. And you start actually hitting those goals quicker than you ever thought you would before. It all goes back into training your mind and reprogramming your brain, as I said in my past vlogs. I mean, this is just a small piece of mindset. And you know, your mindset is your attitude, you know what I'm saying? Remember, your attitude determines your latitude. So that's all I wanted to say for today, man. I have nothing else for today. Um, thank you for tuning in again. I appreciate everybody's love on the last vlog and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. So please, if you find this vlog uh, valuable, you enjoyed it, uh, you liked it, uh, please like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't subscribed before. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Rashad Beats out. Peace.